Today's video was brought to you by me. Me. The only me that can me more mealy than the other leading brands of me. First up today, Abyssal Lords. A Slayer creature requiring 115 Slayer to kill, but with a Wilder Pie you can kill them as early as level 109. And the buff from these pies acts like an extreme skilling potion, so it's a plus 6 boost that reapplies itself for 6 minutes. They drop a lot of neat stuff like a tier 92 melee weapon, so I figured why the hell not give them a whirl during this Abyssal Demon Slayer task. First of all, they're pretty strong and I wasn't prepared adequately to fight them, but I got one drop I needed for the Master Quest Cape. Lucky us. The book's called Scions of Erebus. It's a short read, but an interesting one nonetheless. So there's a lot of weird stuff going on with demons, unsurprisingly. The Twilight of the Gods quest revealed a good deal about infernal demons. Spoilers, they're actually Augur Dragonkin wearing demon skin suits, specifically Avernic demon skin suits. They seem to have a working relationship with some of the Abyssals since Aurelius, an Abyssal Lord, was trying to help the Infernals we meet during Twilight of the Gods. They are trying to find a cure for a superimposed personality disorder, a condition Chthonians come down with when they consume the memories of other sentient beings. It's like different minds fighting for control over the same body. I guess this also affects dragonkin souls occupying an Avernic shell, or perhaps it's just a side effect of spending too much time in the Abyss? I don't know. Demon magic. The book's a bit strange though. It says the Scions of Erebus, assumedly the Abyssal Lords, are from Erebus but have yet to return to it. That there are many among them, perhaps all of them, who do not remember Erebus, save perhaps Ocularis, but most are unable to speak, speak with, with that shivering harbinger without being driven themselves to utter derangement. They were exiled from Erebus and soon invaded the world of smoke, Infernus, where Infernals reigned until they were overthrown by Chthonians. The Infernals fled to the Abyss and some of the Scions have become acquainted with them, but the Infernals, who we know are dragonkin from a previous revision of the universe, don't know much about Erebus even though they inhabit Avernic bodies which are intimately familiar with the arable element of smoke. Even though Avernics don't come from Erebus, they come from the world of smoke which is Infernus. I... Hmm, this kinda confuses me a bit, but let me see if I could pull together some crude timeline. Abyssal Lords and various other demons, I'm assuming all the different types of Chthonians, are born on Erebus. They're exiled from Erebus for some reason and come to inhabit Infernus. Whether this is before or after the Infernals took over is unknown. On Infernus, many generations of Chthonians were born, never knowing their original home. Big Boy Hostilius the Autocrat being one of those newly born Chthonians. Eventually the Chthonians overthrew the Infernals who promptly escaped to the Abyss and the Chthonians began their strange culinary based power struggles. An oversimplification if there ever was one. Hostilius came out on top having consumed all the other elders. Then Zamorak showed up ages later and helped the Avernic demons overthrow the Chthonians, killing Hostilius in the process. The Chthonians fled to the Abyss and following a likely awkward reunion with the Infernals, managed to eke out a living there, eating portions of Hostilius's corpse in hopes of gaining more power and knowledge. Why haven't the Abyssals returned to Erebus? Who knows? What do they do to be exiled? Who in Erebus exiled them? All are mysteries. All we know is that some human souls go to Erebus when they die, specifically followers of Zaros. Abyssal Lords view this like sewage leaking into a reservoir, polluting their home. I hope we get more information about Erebus and demons. I'd love to see more friendly demons as well, like Dagon. And there's also that demon we got tucked away in our portable phylactery that needs resolving. Zilgar Trog. He's an Avernic, so not really relevant to Erebus, but I'm sure an Erebus storyline can intersect with him somehow. With that little bit of lore out of the way, let's move on to some more first time PVM. Let me explain. I am cloaked in a bedsheet because it's a little chilly today and I didn't want to put on a sweatshirt or like a like a jacket just because this is a nice soft warm flannel and also I am now an affiliate on Twitch which basically means they're gonna put pre-roll ads in my stream I don't know if that's the case for everyone's stream oh holy wow my first thank you evil genesis wow that, that was really quick uh, I appreciate it um, I don't know what to say. I don't have any special emotes yet. Uh, I have one of them made. It's still pending. It's pending approval. But just as a hint, the one emote that I have pending approval is called, well, my prefix is just BA59. I can't change that yet. So it'd be just, 50, just BA59 Nomad. So what could it be? Who knows? We'll find out when it gets approved.
Does anyone have a guess at what we're doing today? Something I haven't done before. <laughs> Put your hair in a ponytail. Well, that, that is something I've never done before. Oh, actually, I also, I decided to do one five mechanic art clay sword things and I got a Lang artifact. I only have a thousand remnants. All right, I'm gonna have the enhanced wrist wraps. So now they're tier 90 instead of tier 85. A little more damage. Not Raksha, we are doing a Raxor. Yes, Rax. I've never fought Raxor, a Raxor before. So the acid path is the one that confused me. Does the acid hurt you if you stand in it? Oh my God, another, jeez. Oh, Thank you so much, Mr. Fulcher. Wow. Like I'm so, <laughs> I feel so humbled. <laughs> this is so nice. Anytime really enjoying the content. Well, thank you so much. That means a lot. You know what? No time like the present. I didn't bring death runes, damn it. How long does this take? Is just all his acid needs to spill out? Oh, there we go. Then we jump down. What do I have to do with these highly acidic spiders? I'm confused, I'm scared. The music for this is great because it really does sound spidery. It's got like that tinkling, like, tee, 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 like a spider's legs. I didn't bring prayer potions. <laughs> I'm a freaking idiot. I'm a colossal moron. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> that was, that was easy. Why was I so scared? I feel, mm, that might've just been a fluke. What is interesting about bats though, is that they're actually more closely related to ungulates, like horses, camels, and whales, surprisingly, than they are to rats. We're closer to rats than bats are. Yeah, that one wasn't as clean. Whoops, I made a mistake. This is easy. Genuinely though, I, I, I love spiders. I used to be pretty scared of them, but you'd be surprised if you spend enough time learning about something, they stop being so scary. And they're actually very, very neat animals. Typically, every uh, year, we have long leg sack spiders. They're yellow spiders, they don't really make a web. They, they make little like sleeping bags that they will hide in uh, and sleep. So throughout the year, we'll have them at, as, at different sizes because they'll be like, you know, these are the baby ones, these are the adult ones, these are the ones that are growing up, these are the ones that go and hibernate, whatever. I actually use that to overcome my fear. I, I let the small ones crawl on my hand and then I let the bigger ones crawl on my hand and then, you know, I, I worked my way up. Yeah, the biggest spiders I've seen around here are grass spiders and they're not that big. I know there's the giant house spider in the UK and those things can be pretty big, um, but they're totally harmless. I mean, although really it doesn't matter how harmless a spider is. If you if you see a spider where you don't expect to see a spider, it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, you know, it's, it's gonna startle you. Damn it. Okay, this is... Why did I have such an easy time the first time? Well, he's because he's enraged, so he's doing more damage. Ooh, Rocktails. Yeah, this is going poorly. I'm... <laughs> Familiar. You know, man, you... You're my guardian angel. Or am I the devil on your shoulder? Well, it, if you're the devil on my shoulder, you're a helpful one, so... It doesn't matter to me. You're my guardian devil. There you go. Am I your am I your angle or your devil? <laughs> I'd be a cute angle. I mean, I'd rather he do the swipe than the um than the web attack. Whoa. That was immediate. That acid spider. That just showed up and exploded. What was that about? There we go. That took a while. Oh great, you logs. So rather than doing a Raxor again, I think what might be fun could be trying out ED2. Should I be using Protect from Mage? Should I be using Animate Dead? How does this boss work? Oh, this is what I have to do. Whoops. Oops, screwed up. I run into the rain. The rain's gonna kill me. The rain killed me. Chocolate rain. <laughs> Some stay dry and Ferris dies again. Okay, so destroy the pulsar. Probably run away from it. Oh, great. So now I'm going to have the wormhole here. All right, run out of the wormhole. Destroy the pulsar. Another pulsar. Ooh, damn it. Oh, no, that was a neutron star. God damn it. 
I'm just gonna restart this because I messed up the neutron star the, the first time around. I don't why why do I not have torment on? What the hell happened? Whoa 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 one over here. Come on. You can do it. Okay now I'll try to destroy it. Because I have the opportunity to. Whoops. Oh, she dropped the pulsar right in front of my face. I can't wait till they uh, rework death costs. It's going to be great for Iron Man. Like, oh, we're going to replace death costs with GE tax. Oh, no. Well, these do a lot more damage <laughs> if you don't have animate dead on. Oh, the music stopped. I thought I died. Like the way the music changed, I thought I died again. I did it. <laughs> if I do want to do the egg mechanic, do I have to bring? Is it like if I if I turn green, I got to bring it to green? If I turn whatever, I got to go to whatever. Or do I have to go to a different one? Oop, 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 well. <laughs> Looks like I'm fighting. I want to like run to here and then disruption shield. Did that do it? I don't know what that did. Uh, that didn't work. So if I ignore it, it only does 4,000 damage. But if I pick it up, it, will, it, will, it, it kills me. So ignore the bomb. <laughs> yeah, that's my thinking. Spire. Destroy the spire. Okay, spire's gone. Ah, there we go. I used a uh, disruption shield. Slams his tail. Spire. And a dive bomb. And run out of the way. Oh, what is this? <laughs> I didn't. Ah. When you see fire surge, the spire should be coming up now. So if I switch, switch. Resonance. Ah, there we go. Gaming. That's it. I have now seen every mechanic. I just gotta not mess up. Gotta stay out of melee range. <laughs> not mess up. Proceeds to get chomped. Whoop. Oh, jeez. Ooh. I <laughs> I pressed the wrong button and I almost I almost got uh, uh, exploded. There we go. I remember being sad. I would miss the in-game Christmas because my grandparents had no internet slash computer. Why didn't you just go on mobile? Final Fantasy XIV has a marriage system. When they announced that, I immediately got my friend to marry me. For tax benefits. <laughs> Ferris, will you do me the honor? Pony up the ring, and, maybe, and then we'll see. So should I use protect from range or magic? Okay, hand time. Hand time. So I just kill the hands? That's it? Seems really easy. Oh, <laughs> I was looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> what are they doing? Is this bad? Is there like a time limit? Do I need to do this in a certain amount of time? Or are they just like smacking her because it's fun? Oh, I'm... I'm an idiot. I didn't bring overloads. Or I did, but I didn't bring enough. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, now I can soul split and then mage flick when needed. Yeah. Yeah, they only... They, they attack like... It, whoop. Come on. I, th I think I'm just getting a little uh, frazzled. Following the stream, I realized a couple of things. First of all, I was in a strange place with magic since my magic weapons were not only a lower tier than my ranged weapon, tier 85 versus tier 87, but also I didn't have the magic version of Corruption Shot, Corruption Blast. It's a pretty good ability. I don't think it's nearly as significant as Greater Concentrated Blast, but I still want it. Fortunately, I was only one Beastmaster raid away from having enough techie to buy a codex. Would have been nice to save it to buy some armor for more rumbling components, but by the time I need rumbling components to repair my essence of finality, I'm sure I'll have enough techie again. Now I need to get my hands on a Sea Singer upgrade kit. It takes your Sea Singer wand or orb from tier 85 to tier 88 just a touch better in accuracy than my tier 87 decimation, and also not that far behind tier 90 seismics. I'd argue they're better than Psyware weapons. The Psyware wand and orb have tier 90 accuracy, but how much more accuracy does that really provide compared to tier 88 accuracy? A few percent maybe? On average, how much damage do I lose out on by splashing a little bit more? Is it more than the damage difference between tier 80 and tier 88 damage? Probably not. Also, I hate Hellweir, so the longer I can put off grinding him out, the better. Anyway, I need to farm ED1 with Lucky Charms to get the upgrade kit, but to do that, I need to erase my progress in ED2. I'd like to kill the Blackstone Dragon before doing that, so I went back to the dungeon and fought the dragon one more time. Well, more than one more time, but I'll... I failed a couple times, again, but this is... this is the... Six, I did one more time. This time, 
I stood in the safe spot between the black hands, you still get hit by their magic attacks, but the little crawly hands can't touch you, so it's way safer. I also didn't faff about with prayer flicking to deflect range. I just camp deflect melee and swap to deflect magic at the last second before the black smoke ball hit me. It actually wasn't all that tough. She dropped nothing exciting. I found anime dead with sea singer gear made ED1 farming much easier. The Incite Fear spell also provided for a good deal of burst AoE with low adrenaline tsunamis. And since I needed AoE for this, it's a good thing I got Corruption Blast as well. The tokens were nice too. Still working toward that gold accumulator, that'll, that's gonna take forever. Now I know what you're gonna say. Why didn't I do this in a token farming group? Why didn't I accept the offers from others to run this with me? Several people have offered to do this with me. Several viewers. I didn't forget about you. So why am I so antisocial in this game? These are all good questions, and they deserve answers. Let me know when you find someone that'll give them to you. Took a while, but here's the fruits of our labor. A single Sea Singer upgrade kit. Good enough for now, since your main hand is what contributes to accuracy, not the offhand. I'll grind out a second upgrade kit, eventually. I also got a Tetsu upgrade kit and some Death Lotus Extract. Super exciting because I was really struggling to find random crap to take up space in my totally not full to bursting bank. Thanks Jumbalumps, and thank you for watching.